Miss Musalima Ghana is proudly brought to you by GTP, MG Grand Hotel, North Cosmetics, Jamila Homes, Josek City Life Hotel, Pinaman Cosmetics, Tira Beauty, Channel 247, and supported by Curtis Captain, Morning Muslim Girl, The Sanda Closet, Reagan, Bay Clothing, Zahanaf Shoes, Safe Share, Sani's Fabric. Beauty, they say, lies in the eyes of the beholder. But if you had the chance to choose among many young Muslim women, who would it be? Just a year down, and we are back again with another season of Miss Muslima Ghana 2021, Ghana's first all-Muslim beauty pageant. Last year, our maiden edition made positive headlines with captivating episode, intriguing moments, stunning performances, and of course, a glamorous grand finale that brought people from every nook and cranny in Ghana and beyond under one auditorium. Fast forward, we are here at the MJ Grand Hotel, observing all the COVID-19 protocols yet poised to bring you another exciting, informative, and an even better all-new season of Miss Muslim Ghana. Yes, it's the grand auditioning, and the obvious question, who wears the crown? This year's Miss Muslim Ghana has been made possible by GTP, MJ Grand Hotel, Sierra Beauty Clinic, Channel 247, Pinaman Cosmetics, Jamila Home, Josek City Life Hotel, Notes Cosmetics, and supported by Capital Cafe and Restaurant, Curtis Kaftan, Bay Clothing, Reagan, Safe Share, Zahanav Shoes, and Sami's Fabric. My name is Leila Sharu, and of course, I'm not doing this alone. Sima, last year's Mr. Eloquent, is my co host. Deed, the search is on. The thrilling moments, excitement, disappointment will all be captured under our lenses. So brace yourself, fasten your belt, set your reminders and prepare to have an exciting ride with us. Well, we'll be chit-chatting with some of our ladies, but before then, we'll get to know who our judges are right after the break. Do stay with us. Tasty food from Casa Tomato, Capitol Cafe and Restaurant, Port Belly Shack, Alaji's Wife, Photography by Print, Choreography and Catwalk by Versatile Modeling Agency. Oh, Chaisa. Now, what man is so Jamaican GTP? Oh, yeah. Clement, yes. You know, I really like you. Okay. But that's your fabric. It doesn't look genuine. Hey, design, GTP design. GTP put in pretty colors, be sale. Sure. When buying GTP, always check the design number on the label. The same number is printed on the salvage. Oh, they work out, Mate. We are genuine. Yeah, we do a term of you, Mate. Jack. Shine your eye. GTP is available in various shops and online at www.buygtp.com. GTP. Timeless. Looking for comfort outside your home can be quite a daunting task. Here at MJ Grand Hotel, we offer you a comfortable and an impeccable hospitality away from home, whether for business, leisure or even pleasure. Our 24-hour and glittering Wi-Fi service will keep you connected to the rest of the world. Classic suits, conference rooms, sports gym, swimming pool, bar and a restaurant that serves you with local continental and asian cuisines locate mj grand hotel at number 460 abutment street east Legon, accra for bookings and reservations call us on 0302 544 211 or 212 or 0540 274 469 and 0271 290 330 or log on to www.mjgrandhotelghana.com mj grand hotel you are a royal guest. Now it's time to know who our judges are. 
Our first and lead judge, she's an award-winning actress, an entrepreneur, and a humanitarian. As an advocate for decency, her vision is to uphold the moral values of women in Africa and help build their self-esteem. She's been with the pageant since last year. Let's meet Habiba Sinari. fashion enthusiast, CEO of Reagan's and Estro by Reagan. She's also a public speaker. Her dream is to establish and own a globally valued fashion company that promotes modesty in our contemporary fashion style. Let's meet Ghania. Purchase your tracks. Our third and final judge, he is an award-winning celebrity fashion designer, CEO of Bushai Weave Collection. His decision to focus on his foremost passion began after senior high school. Today, he's one of the best fashion designers we have in Ghana. His aim is to take his brand and African fashion to the rest of the world. Let's meet Shaibu Abdullahi. So now we know who our judges are, we will be interacting with them pretty soon. Whilst we are getting ready, Tima is out there chit-chatting with the girls. Let's go check them out. So we are here with some of our ladies and we'll be engaging with them to find out how prepared they are towards today's auditions. Hello beautiful. Hi. How are you doing? Yes, I'm good and you. I'm doing good. You really look familiar. Were you here last year? Yes, please. So what are your expectations for today? I'm just expecting questions I'll be able to answer confidently. Oh, okay. All the best to flag. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. So is this your first time coming here? Yes, please. It's my first time. Okay, so what are you also expecting from the judges? I expect the judges to be a bit lenient and for me also to be able to answer the questions that they ask me. Okay. Hello, beautiful. Hi, pretty. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you too? I'm doing good. So what are your expectations for today's program? Not much. I just pray I make a good impression. Okay. okay. So we had time to select judges who are going to take things so easy on you and judges who are going to be so friendly. All you need to do is to bring out the best in you and just be you when you go in there. Wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're disqualified. Time Out, up. Oh, just like that. Now, call the no, 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 next contestant. Please come in. Thank you. Anyway, that's fair, <laughs> by the way. So let's get interactive. I want to find out from you, Ganya. What, what are your expectations? What would you be expecting from the game? Okay. 
Okay, so I followed um, the program last year and then I'm actually looking for somebody that will personally wow me, someone that is going to have that confidence in her, someone that is going to avail herself to be groomed to be the next modest queen. Very well. And with you, Shine, what would you be expecting? I'm a fashion designer. My major is to look at the Well, you heard it from our fashion designer. Now, let me come to you, Habiba. You've been with us last year and you are here again. What would you be looking out for differently from us? Wow, okay, so generally they've said what we'll all be looking for. Um, last year we had less confident ladies. Uh, you know how our Muslim ladies are brought up. So this year I'm looking for more confident girls. And looking at them outside, I feel we are working. Oh. We are good to go. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Are we good to go now? Oh, yes, yeah. we are. Well, you had it all. Our experienced and dedicated judges, they are all set to help us find Ghana's next modest cream. We'll begin the search right after this break. Don't go nowhere. by Cadiz Artistry Disney Beauty Touch with product from Note Cosmetics. Hey, mm. hey you're GTP. Of course, Clemento. Me and GTP go way back. Thank you. And I rock it confidently. Mm. Your dress is colorful. That's GTP. Our colors don't run. Yes, that's genuine. Ah, but damn. Another way to ensure the GTP you're buying is authentic is by scratching the white sticker to reveal the 12 digits number. Text the number to the short code 1393 across all networks for free and you'll get a text within seconds telling you if your GTP is authentic or not. GTP. Timeless. Anytime I have a special date like this, I find fragrance to be such a mood enhancer and definitely a seduction too. Ladies, a black cologne for men. A new fragrance from Pinamai Cosmetics. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, are you not the one supposed to tell us the actors or tell us assalamu alaikum? Hi. Hi, thank you, sir. How are you? <laughs> Where are you from? Aflao. Aflao? Wow. You came from Aflao? Yes. Wow, that's nice. Can you tell us about yourself? My name is Fadila Saini. Fadila Saini. Saini. Okay. I'm from Aflao and I'm 20 years of age. I just completed senior high school. And I am tired and university as a part of the university. And I'm living with a single mom. And I'm not doing anything for me. I'm still waiting for my results. Okay. Are you on any social media platform? What social media? WhatsApp. Okay, so um, in your opinion, do you think Instagram or any other social media, social media in general? Let me not, you know, discriminate. Social media in general. Do you think it has done more good than bad, or more bad than good, and why? Okay, it has done more good than bad. So, I use the social media platform to learn. And without a social media, I don't think I'll be able to know 
Yeah. What do you learn exactly on through social media? What do you learn through social? You said you learn, right? Yes. Sometimes our school project, we do research, we do research, and aside that, we have WhatsApp group, school WhatsApp group. Without that, we can maybe we are all from different homes and different. Mm. So the WhatsApp help us to be able to chat with you. All right. Okay. You guys can. Okay. You said you just completed SHS. What did you study? General science. General science. And what what course are you applying for in the university? Medical laboratory. Okay. So you want to work in the laboratory. All right. Sure. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The next person. Okay. Yeah, well, all the best. Well, Waalaikumsalam. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Are you tensed? Yes. Okay, just whew, let it out. Okay, tell us about yourself. Do TV shows. Okay. 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 You do TV shows. So. TV shows. Oh wow. So why should we choose you? I believe I have what it takes to build this platform. I'm certain. I hold. I'm not looking for this too. You're bold, but you look like you're shivering. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Are you married? I am. Yes. Oh. Okay. So, assuming you're crowned the next um, Miss Muslima Ghana, what are you going to do different? What are you going to do to inspire people that look up to you? I am a person. Okay. So I look forward to inspiring young ladies who are mostly forced into young. Into forced marriage. Early marriages. Yeah, as I was being forced into marriage at the age of 17. Wow. And unfortunately, I walked out at age 19. I had suicidal thoughts. And I love being so wonderful. I was able to stand firm to my position and walk out and made my life better. I would like to use this platform as a, as a I don't know. An opportunity, An opportunity yeah. to give other young ladies the feeling that they are more than just brides. Okay. They should believe in themselves and grab every opportunity that comes to be away and make themselves better women. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thank very you so much. much. All the best. So oh, well, thank you, Sal. Hi. Hello. 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 My name is Fayouza Hamdiya Suleiman. Say that again. Fayouza Hamdiya Suleiman. Fayouza Hamdiya. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Yankee. Yeah. Okay, that's where you heal or that's where you live? No, that's where I heal, but I live here in Accra. Oh, okay. okay. What do you do? I'm a student and also a small business owner. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, what pushes you to be here? Okay, so over the years, I have done pageantry, both national and international. And I know one trick to winning a pageant is mastering the craft of being yourself and being able to protect that confidence. However, this is something I've not had the opportunity to do on all the pageants platforms that I found myself. I'm very enthusiastic about modesty. Okay. And I believe that this Muslim platform is the only platform that will grant me the opportunity to be able to protect myself in a completely new yeah. Okay. Great. Um, as a woman, do you believe in the same women are their own enemies? I do. Why? I know women can push women. I also know that women are their own enemies. This is because you find um, most of the times on a social media platform, especially, you see someone post something and then when you read the comments, it's women dominated, and all that they do is keep negative 
bias to the person and should that impact the person in a very wrong way. I think it's going to break the person so much. Have you been a victim of women are their own enemy. No, sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Nice sure. meeting you. Nice. Okay. I wish you all the best. Okay. Good luck. Oh, oh, yeah, salam. Hi. I think I remember you from the first edition. Oh. Wow. I don't remember your name. Mariam. Mariam. Right. 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 I like your, the color of your dress. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can you tell us about yourself, Mariam? I know you, but you know the rest don't know. My name is Mariam. I see you from Akasa. You can call me dressy. You can see me purchasing as a type. I'm an extrovert. Thank you. Nice. A student of? I can't take a Okay. What is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay, Mariam. By the way, what do you mean by you're an extrovert? I easily make friends a lot. Okay. So you've made friends with the people you met outside? How many people do you know? Four. Four. Wow. wow. Okay. Are you, Mariam, are you on any um, social media platform? What? Have you insulted or spoken to anyone? I mean, text in a bad way or commented in a bad way. Have you harassed anyone on Instagram before? No. Are you sure? Yes. Has anyone harassed you before? What do you think about cyberbullying? Okay, it's very bad. It's mm. very bad. In your opinion, do you think that it's only celebrities that are cyber bullied? No, individuals. You know anybody that has been bullied before? Yes. How did you help the person? Okay, so you couldn't offer a helping hand because you're not close to the person. But would you want someone to help you if you are bullied cyberly? Even if the person is not close to you. So why didn't you offer helping out to the person? Okay, at that time I was very busy. So you can't help a friend because you're busy? Wow. Are you this nice? <laughs> this polite. I mean. Well, let me ask you. Uh, you are looking good. I like you. Uh, but I want to ask you one question. You always look like this, or because you are coming to this meeting, and so you have to look more this. That's why you are looking like this. Please, <laughs> no. All the time, I look more than on campus everywhere. Are you sure? Yes. People are watching. The Ruti out. <laughs> Thank you, Mariam. All nice right. seeing you again. Thank you. I wish all you the best. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Why are you angry? <laughs> are you sure? Like you came in and you're like side eyed all of us. Mm. Are you sure? I was even scared. Are you very sure? Yes. Okay. What's your name? Hiya. Oh, what do you do? I'm a baker. You're a baker? Okay. What do you bake? Cakes, pastries. Okay, so you specialize in cake making. Okay. Are you a student? Have you finished school? So I went to KFC. Oh, KFC Ghana. Hey, KFC. I love KFC. You only give me some. If I let you enter, you give me some. Anyway, Free. tell us about yourself. <laughs> Aside <laughs> being a baker and your name, what else you do? Oh, tell us about yourself. Really? Wow. Okay. Yes, I have recipes. My mom's. My mom is interested and my dad is interested. Your dad is a Muslim and your mom, how has it conflicted you growing up? Okay, did you live with both parents? Yes. How was it? Did you did it affect your childhood? Did it affect you growing up? It didn't affect. It didn't affect. Sorry, it didn't affect me that much. My mom goes to church. My dad will understand me and go to church. Sometimes she tries sending us to church, but my dad agrees that we he can send us to church. So you are you are you are totally a Muslim now? Yes, yes. So you chose to be a Muslim or you were forced to be a Muslim? I was forced. I decided. So it was a choice. Wow. 
So what is the choice? What makes you decide that no, let me let me go to my father's side instead of my uh, side? Okay. Um, I really do that this now. Okay. With with me. Okay, I really do love this love that you want. Okay. Everything. I love it. How it feels. Everything. When you put the Christians, I really don't have much interest in that. Okay, that's fine. That's so okay. So when you go to Makara, I didn't go to Makara. Then how do you be able to pray for five minutes? Pray. I will ask for the pray. My aunt supports me. Okay. Mm. Do you have any weaknesses? Yes. So if I ask you to do party right now, will you be able to? To recite the part here. So, can you recite it for us? This is my life. I'm not going to do that. 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 Mostly I'm shy. You're shy. You're shy. How do you deal with it? I just normally when I'm shy, I just say it's okay. Are you sure? Is wow. it all the time you say a prayer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So are you shy right now? I was a little bit shy before coming. So what changed? I just pray before everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, thank you. Hello. Why are you angry? No. Nope. As a Muslim, when you enter somewhere, what do you say? Assalamualaikum. Salam. Wa alaikum 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 salam. Wa and then also creating a platform where I can help other Muslim women from my global community to also come out for the adults. And I see this as a platform that will give you the exposure and also the chance to make this a reality. Can you tell us about it? So just short, then you tell us where you're coming from. We want to know where you're coming from. I'm Aisha Isa. I level 400 students from the University of Education, Winnegar. I'm from Coco in the upper institution. What job are you? I'm a motion I try. Wow. Okay, go on. Go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm from Coco in the upper institution, but well as a victim of And I'm from a family of seven, and I happen to be the last born. I'm an extrovert. Oh, wow. And I'd like to thank during my leisure time and also. Yeah. Are you tense? No. Yeah, but you keep holding your dress, so I thought, hey, maybe you're going to have convulsion or something. Are you okay? Are you sure? 100%. Very sure. What are you studying in school? BA in Social Studies Education. Social Studies Education. What's it about? Social studies. Yeah, social studies is the subject that um, seeks to equip learners with the necessary aptitude, values, as well as the skills to help in solving the contemporary and then the complex problems society keeps on facing. That's all about So, do you consider yourself as a sleep queen? No. Do you like to look good? So, before you answered, why do you think you're not a sleep queen? Why do I think I'm not a sleep queen? Yeah. Okay, there is this caption we have when you talk about sleep queen. What comes to mind of people when they hear you're a sleep queen? They think you are a small person with something. You know who have that in mind? Honestly, I don't. <laughs> a lot of people hold on to that perception. Yeah. And when they hear the word sleep, Right. Looking at the economical state of Ghana now, how do you think Ghana will be in the next five years? Mm. Well, I, I hold on the belief that if should any person 
The fact is, what we are seeing now is we, the youth, kind of always blame government and then we see government as the sole place where we can be employed or get the uh, source of income by sharing the soul. As young as we are, we should think beyond the boss and then we should also come out with things that we can do for ourselves and then we shouldn't solely depend on the government. So I personally, I find it very hectic when I see, especially we in the tertiary level complaining about the economy and the government. So in the next five years? So in the next five years, from what we are seeing now, if we are to maintain this kind of theoretical teaching mm -hmm. that the country is having now, well, to me, I don't think the next five years this country has a future. But then, if we are to, for instance, Bella Mundi shows a program on telly when we have young girls and boys who are being equipped with skills. So, if we are to take up this mantle of being, doing things in a practical manner, that would help the country's economy. Right. Okay. So assuming you're crownless Muslim Ghana and you're asked to use this as your project, how are you going to solve this amongst the youth that you can reach? Yes, like I said, it's about changing our mindset as youth. And then when given the platform and then when given the product, the less it's about sensitizing and educating the youth. They shouldn't look at the government or the state as being the sole place they can get their source of income. They should do things by themselves. So when I'm crowned at the brain, I will help equip the young ladies within our global brain and beyond with entrepreneurial skills. That will help boost them and then would also kind of uh, give them their source of income. Equip. Are you that rich? I didn't know. Oh, I'll be your friend. <laughs> yeah, so how are you going to, to do that? People? How are you going to mobilize all these are things? You're going to get people? the producer of the show to help you. No, really. Okay. So I can do this uh, collaboratively. You see, when you win the platform, through your mentorship and your coaching program that will embark on during this um, project, I will be able to. And then as we are here, we are trying to socialize with others who also have equal visions as to us. And then you can also be your friends. Right. Okay. I think that's okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Wishing you all the best. Okay. Good luck. Salam. What's salam? How are you? I thank you. Why did you complete the salam? <laughs> you don't want all the blessings. Oh, I want. Okay. Sure. Your name? I'm Samira Bessie. Bessie. Okay, Samira, tell us about yourself. Okay, I'm Samira Bessie Adiku from 20 years of age. I'm a resident of Abdulmah. I hail from Adiku region. I'm a student of Akka Central University, Bachelor of Technology in Economics and Managing Management. I'm a model, a video person, I'm also an actress, and an entrepreneur. Wow. I'm very assertive, confident, and outspoken. And very outspoken. Very fast spoken. Wow. Yeah, only you are all this. You're an actor. I'm sure she didn't even mention that. You are a video vixen. You are everything. So oh. I want to use the opportunity to tell you you are very unique. Yes. You know that. Unique, very, very, very unique. And you're beautiful. Okay, he said you're a video vixen. Yes. That's like you uh, models and videos, dancing. No. Um, Acting in videos? Yes, like storylines, relationships. Okay, so um, do you always have your hijab on whilst you're doing that? Depending. Depending. So you choose when to take it off and when to. I don't choose when to take it off. Okay. It's, um, if the story is about um, a village life, something, maybe an account tradition, I can't. So you know, I told you you are unique. Has has there has there been any way that you would you would love to or you've thought of, you know, trying to use your condition or your state? I mean, it's not a condition. Sorry, uh, use your uniqueness, you know, to impact lives. Has, has there been anything? 
four. Um, I believe um, it hasn't it hasn't been rough for me. Like it hasn't been smooth. I've had those rough days and those ups and downs, and it wasn't really easy. But I've been able to overcome that. And I know a lot of people are going through that. And when they see me and the kind of confidence I have, it brings me so much to to come out of the box. That's beautiful. You have to act for me. I'll give you a scenario and, you and then you, you do it for me. So you are a wife that has been with your husband for 20 years. You have no children. And he decides to get married to your friend. Because he believes your friend is just like you. A friend who turned a sister. I want you to act accordingly. Let me know. How you're going to behave? You're going to act it, so it's up to you. Whatever you want to. It can be all three characters. So you just start from when he tells you that he's getting married to your friend, so your friend can give you a child. Yeah, yes. so feel free. Action. By all means. Mm -hmm. This happiness attitude towards this money should so upset. I don't know why you should just get married to my friend, like my own friend. Like for real, who does this? And why should everybody do this to me? Like, we all live together in the same room. We did everything together. We are all like sisters. And you know that, um... Because you use Habiba. <laughs> <laughs> Habiba, we don't do that too. <laughs> hey. I have a last question. Yeah, it's fine. I have a last question. You said you sometimes take off your hijab and scarf during um, acting or doing your videos, etc. Like so. yes, yes. But then you know that the brand Miss Muslima Ghana, what we stand for and what we want to portray. Are you always going to have your hair or your, are you always going to be modest if you are crowned Miss Muslima Ghana? Yes, of course. So you would do away with your source of income? I'll be selecting on that. Yeah. Okay. When the story is um selecting. You'll be selecting on that. Okay. Sure. So would it be on things that are you always look for this not in a tree because you are coming for me to see that or this because you look at us in your look, it gives me some some idea that all the he's 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 trying to i think he, what he's trying to say is he he is asking you to convince us that you're going to remain modest during the tenure of miss muslima ghana and even if it can go beyond you're going to probably for the lack of a better word transform and personally i have i kind of have this connection You say instead of nah. nah. Oh, no, no, forget, forget that, please. You're not that polite. You're not that polite every day. At least the no and the yes, not the yeah, yeah, nah. Okay. All right. So tell us about yourself. Okay. My name is Rukaya Ali. Rukaya what? Ali. Okay. okay. I'm 22 years of age. Okay. And then I'm currently at the All Nations. I'm studying engineering and then I'm majoring in oil and gas. Oil and gas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I love baking and I also like singing. You also like what? Singing. Singing. Yes. Before I ask any questions, sing for us. Yeah, I should follow so far. I should be my little love. Hold on, so 
Okay. Woo, thank what you. notes were you hitting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't what notes were you hitting. Any? Yeah, you were just saying it. All right. Mm -hmm. So you're currently in school. Okay. What do you want to do after school? You want to pursue baking. A um, the degree. After have. going through engineering school. Engineering has been very I just dare to go and check whether I will be able to. But with this, I'm holding will for business school and not getting a job and also making it just another option for me. Okay. Engineering is not your passion. It's my passion because I'm a scientist. So, what do you want to learn that I get to do? Well, most of the people that are in the company that they complete and explain a lot of things in the house before finally securing a job. So, you wanted to add a group, right? Okay, so you want to be an engineer baker? <laughs> Baking <laughs> engineer. <laughs> so, right. looking at sure. the unemployment rates in Ghana, what advice would you want to give outside to an unemployed girl or boy, youth out there? Well, for me, my main inspiration comes from my daughter. Because when I first told her, I love baking. That was during college. So, I was at home doing that. Okay. And she actually pushed me to start learning it. So I enrolled, but just as I started, and then school came up, so I had to drop it and then go back to school. So my advice is like, don't be scared to go in for something else. Because most of us, when you want to start entrepreneurship, people discourage you. You want your customers, like, they yeah. don't patronize you. But then I believe that the more you keep on pushing, Someone out there will finally notice what you're doing. No, you're doing. So whatever skill you have, even if you don't have it, now it's apparent still is something very easy. Because mm. most of these NGOs are there that they organize free training mm. when it comes to baking, when it comes to sewing, when it comes to soap making, a lot of this. So vocational skills. Yes, vocational. So you can actually reach out to them and then they can enroll you. You okay. can be like Thank you so much. Hello. 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 I'm a university student, the first day student, and I like saving the words and eating as well. I like that. I like that. You like eating. So let's go to the kitchen. Do you think the kitchen is meant for only women? Yeah. Why? Well, in my opinion, mm -hmm. anybody at all can go to the kitchen, whether you're old man or woman, mm -hmm. male or female, because we all eat, right? You eat, I eat, you're a man, you eat, I eat. So why should I be in the kitchen? You can also cook for yourself, just like the way I also cook for myself, if I'm hungry. So I don't see why you should say the kitchen is for only ladies or women or female. Which university do you say you attended? A particular university. What are you studying? What are you studying? Um, I'm studying yesterday hotel kitchen and institutional management. So you can manage this hotel. Okay. Really, you really, you really like food, then. <laughs> Everything is food, though. Yeah, I really, I really like food. So wow. do, you, do you plan on commercializing it in future? Yes, I do. You want to be a caterer? No, I want to be a caterer. Mm, actually, oh, I'm not really good. You have you heard of Casa Tomato? No, oh. I'm not Okay, so Casa Tomato is a catering service or a, and a restaurant. So if the owner of Casa Tomato comes to you and says that, what's your name again? My name is Rahina. I'm calling you Rahina too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rahina too. I'm having low sales. 
people are not patronizing my business. My food is very good, mm -hmm. but I do not know how to um, convince people. I do not how to. I do not know how to increase sales. As a person that is learning to manage hotels and, and possibly cook. Yeah. Uh, handle their dishes and their how you know, are you milk. going to what advice are you going to give the owner of Casa Tomatoes to Thanks. increase sales Thanks for the question. first of all you i would advise you to look at the kind of food or dishes your customers want maybe you might be a good cook or a good chef but maybe your customers they don't like rice mm -hmm. or maybe they don't like food. so you would try and find out what they want best so that is what I'll, that, that's the first advice I'll give you. So maybe you're assuming maybe your customers they like maybe continental dishes or maybe they like the junk foods. So that will depend on your customers. So first of all, you have to listen to your customers before you do what you want to do because they, they are the reason why you are there. Yes. So that's the first advice I'll give you. Or hey, okay. or maybe the chef or the owner of the company. Okay. okay. Then secondly, you have to know how to talk to your customers. Customer Maybe service. Maybe you're a good cook, but you are rude. Okay. I come to your shop and I'll get your, sorry, your restaurant mm. and then I'm like, Please no worry, we get to basically Fine. service. So good so customer service. service and then yeah. allow, take feedback from your customers yeah. to know what food they like. What's your favorite food? <laughs> well, my favorite food is white with oil and then yeah. Oil. Oil? <laughs> That's why you're with oil. oil. It's like beans with oil. It's not barabatampa. I don't know. Barabatampa. Oh. Barabatampa. It's, it's pretty good. Like so, it's normal, like fried oil? Yeah, you can use fried oil, you can use red oil. It's so, you mix it with the wache? Yeah, first of all, you. Me, I, I like to fry the oil with um, onions. 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 Then your cholesterol level, yes, yeah. like 127. Not, not too much oil, but just a little bit. Like so the way like you have you the beans, it like the beans that. and cocoa, yeah, that's uh, red bread. Exactly. That's my favorite food. So it's like yeah. eating with like like red bread, like beans stew. Yeah, you can eat it. So like you tell you, let's say you fetch wachi, mm -hmm. then beside it you you not fetch shit or you fetch oil. Yes. <laughs> your oil, then maybe your brown egg. Should try it and give me feedback. <laughs> Don't worry. So you should know if, if you if you knew the English name, and you didn't know it in your language. I would oh, have been angry. Responsible. So, so say it in your language. Okay. okay that, that, yeah. Oh. No problem. Don't worry. Continue. Mm. Right. That's nice. Okay. Uh, she'll try it and she'll give me feedback <laughs> then i also try you it. actually give me the recipe back though then when he, when i try it i'll give him feedback please start selling something probably will try for me right? yeah oh, and yeah. okay. when you open your restaurant please get like, my number and then do some and, and give, give it to us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right then all the thank best. you so much it's been a long day and finally we've come to the end of the auditions it's been fun, exciting, and entertaining. Very soon, we get to find out who among these ladies made it to the charm school. But before that, I have Tima here with me. Let's find out her impression about the whole process. Tima. Well, it has been a long and an exciting day, of course. And we had a number of young, beautiful Muslim ladies to choose from. And I would say they are intelligent, smart, and elegant. And I was really impressed. I was really impressed. Most of them are just fluent. And then that actually you know, motivated I me. I agree with you, Tima. So thank you very much. So like I said, very soon we get to find out who among those ladies I actually made it to the charm school. But before that, we take a breather. When we come back, it's still Miss Muslim Ghana 2021. Don't go nowhere.
special thanks to our designers at Fadiga's Creations, Alimes Fashion, Onyansani Clothing, Dare Diamond, House of Assetis, Rahim Faye, Freddy's Fashion, Abiba Resta, Play Fashion, Ms. Ellie, Amshas Clothing, Gotes Fashion, and Solera Couture. Sarah Beauty Clinic. Mmm, for natural, long lasting beauty. I love it. Beautiful woman, take care of your skin. Look good, got your sword, splendid skin product. Sienna Nessa DMK, remove, rebuild, protect, and maintain your skin at Sierra Beauty Clinic. Experience our enzyme therapy. Sierra Beauty Clinic, health beyond beauty, acne. Pigment and aging conditions. Sierra Beauty Clinic. Health beyond beauty. Acne, pigment, and aging conditions. 0548 01 or 0244 Sierra Beauty Clinic. Health beyond beauty. Wow. Sierra. Oh, in the hearing. Hi, Clemento. Me, me, ya, doubt you. Hey! Me ya your number one fan, pa! Sir! Yeah, and to manage your Instagram, my JD. My father say GTPD. Pure! Down is warm. Just say, the beer has me who be a no as a sem. GTP has endless designs. When buying, just make sure that the source is original, genuine, and authentic. You can buy from any wooden store or any of the GTP accredited dealers nationwide. Or you can do as I do. Go online. Buy from www.buygtp.com. Oh, here here. Oh, you all got Jack. Sign your eye. GTP. Timeless. We're still having fun here at the grand auditioning of Miss Muslim Ghana 2021. And of course, is proudly brought to you by Capital Cafe and Restaurant, Bay Clothing, Safe Share, Carter's Kaftan Reagans, Modern Muslim Girl, Zahanav Shoes, and Sunny's Fabric. So like I told you before we went for the break, we will know who among these ladies made it to the next round. And we decided to do something a bit different. Trust me, we want to have a witty conversation with our ladies while we get to know them in order to calm their nerves then we'll announce to you who among them made it to the charm school. So I have my first lady here. She is Jamila. Let's meet her. Hi, Jamila. Hello. Are you excited? Yes. And or nervous? Yes. Oh, it's, it's normal. It's normal for you being nervous. And don't worry, I'm going to take it easy yes. on you. And do you, do you think that from your performance, how would you mark yourself? Oh, okay, I'll raise myself. Um, eight over ten, because I was really confident. I didn't really? know where the confidence came from, but I was really proud of myself. Okay, so um, why do you think that you should be picked among the ladies who are going to make it to the Charm School? Okay, so I believe I have a lot in store, and I did my best during the auditions. And I have a project I want to embark on, and I believe this platform will help me do that. It's to serve as a bigger platform for me to do that. Would you like to run us through the project? Okay, so I'd like to improve, uh, improve upon the knowledge of menstrual health among young girls and then provide incentives where possible. How do you intend to do this? Okay, so I'll first of all go to, if maybe I get the opportunity to visit schools and provide education or, uh, to the girls on menstrual health and also give incentives where I can with the little money, if I'm counted. the thing. I use the money that I'm giving to buy them. All right, Jamila, thank you so much. But it's time for you to know whether you made it to the next round or not. And I have an envelope here with me. Okay. So this is it. In it is a card. You can have it. It's either written congratulations or we'll see you again next year. That is, if you are not chosen for the next stage of the competition. But however, I want you to know that whatever it is, since this is a good project you're trying to embark on, you don't have to stop here. 
whatever be the case. So you can go ahead and open the envelope. Let's see what you have there. So I'm going to congratulate you. Congratulations to you. Khadija, how are you feeling? Um, great. I'm feeling great. Great? No nervousness? Oh, I was nervous in the now I'm fine. You're okay. Yes. All right, that's fine. It's normal to be nervous. And also, Khadija, I want to find out from you, what's that one thing that you wish to learn from this competition? Well, I came here because I am one person who is quite shy to talk in public. So I want to build upon my public speaking skills. And that is what I hope to take from here. Well, that's great. And what's your idea about Miss Muslima Ghana? Well, I feel like Miss Muslima Ghana is a pageant where they groom Muslim ladies. And I'm one person who is, let me say, a, mod a modest fashion enthusiast. So I feel like this platform will be somewhere I can easily fit in, easily. All right. So, Khadija, um, do you think you'll, you'll make it to the next round? Mm -hmm. what's, <laughs> what's your thoughts? Well, what's I, running through your head? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now, I feel like it's in the hands of the judges to tell who made it to the next competition or not. But I know I tried my best. All right, so you tried your best. Yes. Exactly. So, Khadija, I have with me this envelope. Have it. In it is a card. When you see congratulations, it means you've made it to the next round of the competition. But if you see, hope to see you next time, obviously, it means this is the end of the road for you. So you can open the envelope now. So congratulations, Khadija, you made it to the next stage. I'm very, very happy for you. I hope you're happy too. I am. All right, so hope to see you again in the next stage of the competition. Thank you so much, Khadija. How are you? I'm fine. How do you feel? I feel good. Really? Yeah. Well, I want to share the goodness with you. All right, so Homo, tell me, how has it been coming into the competition? What has been your biggest fear? My biggest? Fear coming into the competition, not performing my best, not being able to meet the judges' criteria. Really? And so, uh, do you think that you've been able to overcome this yeah, when you went in there? Alhamdulillah, I did my best. You did. Yeah. I like that. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and you think that you've, you've impressed the judges enough to make it to the next round? Well, I can't say much. I did my best and it lies in their hands. It lies in their hands. Yeah. I like that. It lies in their hands. Okay, so Homo, quickly let me save you all the roller coaster of emotions. Take this. In this envelope, it's a card. If you made it to the next round, obviously you'll see congratulations on that card. But if not, you would have to, we would have to see you next year or next time in the competition. So now, Homo, go ahead, open the envelope. Let's see what you have in there. Myself? Oh, yes, you should open it. Or you want me to do that for you? Please do. <laughs> Don't worry, you open it. Let's see. Okay. What do you have there? <laughs> okay, so Homo, congratulations. Thank you. You made it to Thank the next so round much. of the competition. Thank Hopefully, you. I'll see you again in the next stage of the competition. Ramla. How are you feeling? Feeling a bit tense, but well, all You're is feeling good. Feeling a bit tense. Yes. All right. I would want you to rate yourself six over ten. Really? Yes. Then you did well, but what went against you? Like what worked against you? When I walked in, I was shivering, but I think I was able to pick up at the right time. All right. Okay. So Ramla, tell me, do you think that you? Among all these beautiful ladies out there, do you think that um, you will make it to the next stage? I think the competition is very tough, but hopefully, I think so. All right. Okay, so Ramla, I have with me this envelope, and I'm going to hand it over to you. In it is a card. It's either written congratulations or see you next time. Obviously, if you haven't made it to the next stage, it means you would have to see us 
next time, next year. Maybe this year might not be your year. But um, if you have a congratulations on that card, it means you have indeed made it to the next round. So I'll give you the chance to open the card now. <laughs> I like that. Woo! What do you have? All right, so congratulations, Ramla. Thank You've you. made it to Thank the next you. stage of the competition. Thank and you. And hope to see you also in the next stage of the Thank competition. You. Samira, how are you? I'm feeling good and a little bit tense. You're feeling good and a little bit yeah, tense. Yeah, butterflies in my tummy. <laughs> All right, so Samira, what's making you feel tense? Mm, seeing the caliber of ladies here, yes, I really feel tense. But it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so um, tell us, what's that one thing that you've um, learned throughout the process of the auditions? I have really taken note of being confident. Yes, I think confidence is the key to pushing through through the competition. So I'm really key on that. All right. And you think that um, you you'll make it to the next round of Most the definitely. Most definitely. You're so oh, confident, confident about yourself. <laughs> yes, of well, course. I like that. I like confident people. <laughs> it's good to be confident because it will really take you to places. So, Samira, I don't want to... Let me mm. save you all the roller coaster of emotions. I have with me an envelope and I'm going to hand it over Ooh. to you. Now, in this envelope, it's either you see a congratulations or see you next time. And I know you know what these two means. So now let's see what you have in there. Wow, it's a yes for me. So it's a congratulations, <laughs> congratulations to you, Samira. You've made it to the next stage. So what do you have to say? I'm so excited. Yes, ex <laughs> well, I'm very happy for you as well. Thank you so much, Samira. We'll see you again in the next stage of the competition. Happy, but how are you? I'm okay. How are you feeling? Tell us how you're feeling. Well, I'm okay. You're okay. Yes. Are you nervous or you're okay? Yeah, I'm kind of nervous, but I refuse to be nervous. You refuse to be nervous. Yes. Don't worry. As for as for being nervous, it's normal for everybody. Okay, so Habiba, I have with me an envelope, okay. and I'm going to hand it over to you because you have to do the opening. And in it is a card, either written congratulations and also maybe see you next time and you know what these two means right congratulations means you're going to the next stage of the competition and if it's the other way around it means it's the end of the road for you yes please. so let's let's see what you have in there okay. <laughs> you can open it go ahead You are such a character. Open it. Go ahead. Open it. Okay. Oh, I did it! What do you have in there, Tom? <laughs> congratulations! So congratulations to you. Happy <laughs> bye. You've made it to the next round of the competition. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see you again in the next stage of the competition. Okay. Thank you so much. Khalifa, how are you? I'm good. You're good. Yeah. And how are you feeling? I'm, I'm tense. You're tense. Yeah. Don't worry, it's normal, okay? And I'm going to take it easy on you. You have to take it easy on yourself and know that whatever that happens here, at least an opportunity came and then you took it, okay? So um, if you, in case you don't make it to the next round, um, what are you going to do? Well, I will still proceed with my project. My project is about improving adolescent reproductive health which has, I've already started with it. So in case okay. they don't pick me, I'll still pursue my project. Well, I like that. You mm. still have to. You, you know, sometimes you don't really need a bigger platform, you know, to be able to do whatever you're doing. If, if only you have passion for it, this is what you want to do. You can start from somewhere and then uh, later on, it becomes something that you, you've never, you know, perceived it could be. But in any case, I have with me an envelope here. So, you can have it. Now, Khalifa, in this envelope is a card. Written congratulations or either see you next time. And you know what these two means? 
if it's a congratulations, it means you're staying in the competition. But if it's see you next time, it means the road ends here. So let's see what you have in there. <sighs> Why? Is this way? Or... <laughs> Are you asking me? <laughs> Go ahead, open it. <laughs> okay. Wow, it's a congratulations! Well, yes. I'm happy. So congratulations to you, Khalifa. You've made it I'm to so the happy. next stage of the competition and hopefully I'll see you in the next stage of the competition. Thank you so much. Rahina, how are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm being fine. You're fine. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Alright, so um what's what's your impression about this whole Miss Muslima thing? Well, mm, I didn't really know much about it, but now I would say it's it's a blast. Like I really like everything it's a blast. about it. Yeah. All right. It's, so it's I don't know whether if it's because I came, um, because of the people I came to meet, but wow, it's, it's You're really not impressed with I'm, what you I'm saw, really, right? Really impressed. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm really impressed. From what you you did in there with the judges, do you think that you've really done your best? You've given it your best shot. Well, I would say yes. That you've you've given yes. the performance yeah. your performance the best shot. Yes, but it's up to the judges to judge me right, whether if I'm right or wrong. To judge you right, it means that <laughs> it means what? It means if it's a yes, kudos. If it's not, we move. Definitely we move. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so right now I'm going to save you all of these. Okay, so here, this is an envelope and in it is a card. Either written congratulations or see you next time. And I'm very sure that you know what these two means. If it's a congratulations, obviously you've made it to the next stage of the competition. But if it's the other way around, it means the road ends here for you. Okay? But whatever be the case, like I said, there are so many opportunities out there. No matter what happens, you can go out there and grab it. So let's see what you have in the envelope. Please pinch me because I want to see. <laughs> What's in there? Let me see. So, congrats. so congratulations, Rahina. You've made it to the next stage of the competition, and I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you so much, Rahina, and I'll see you again, hopefully, in the next stage of the competition. I have Mariam here with me, so I'll be chit-chatting with her. I was speaking to your other, um, the other contestants as well, and then I want to know your general impression about the audition so far? I was very reposed and calm, waiting patiently like for the audition results. Yeah. But then how do you feel generally? I'm very kind of, I'm very like nervous, very, very nervous like because I have a feeling they'll take me, I have a feeling they won't take me and all that. So I'm just being nervous. Don't worry, it's, it's normal, okay? When you're in front of uh, people and that um, you don't know from anywhere, I believe that you're so confident, so being in there alone tells that you are um, a queen, okay? So whatever happens here, know that an opportunity came and then you, take, you took that opportunity, okay? All right, so I have with me an envelope here. I'll hand it over to you. Thank you. Now in this envelope is a card, written congratulations or see you next time. And then they, they speak for themselves. So if it's a congratulations, obviously you've made it to the next stage of the competition. And if it's the other way around, it means we'll have to say goodbye to you. So you may open it now, Mario. Very nervous, like I'm very nervous. So you want me to help you open the envelope? Yes, please. No, you do it yourself. I'm very nervous, <laughs> trust me. Please Don't worry, please. go ahead, open it. Please. What do oh we have? Oh my God. So congratulations, Mariam. You've made it to the next stage of the competition. So Mariam, thank you so much. Haria, how are you doing? How's it going so far? And you think we are making it to the next round? Sure. How sure are you? 
No hundred percent sure, man. It's definitely sure. So how did you go in there with the judges? Mm, it was cool. I was able to answer most of their questions. So I think my team was the best team. Really? Yes. Well, I like your zeal. And also, Harry, I have this envelope here. You can have it. In it is a card. Either congratulations or we'll see you next time. Okay. And you know what that means? If it's a congratulations, it means you're staying. And if it is right. see you next time, obviously we'll see you again probably next year. Okay. So you can go ahead, open it. Let's see okay. what you have in there. Congratulations, Haria. Thank You've you made it to the next much. stage of the competition. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next stage of the competition. Yes. Thank you so much. Aisha, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. And how do you feel? I can see you're nervous. Yeah. So whatever happens here, Aisha, know that an opportunity came and then you took that opportunity. Okay? You'll be very fine. So I'm sure I have this envelope. Have it. In this envelope is a card. Are you okay? okay. Put yourself together. You're going to be fine. So in this envelope is a card. Either written congratulations. It means that you've made it to the next stage of the competition. Or if you see, see you next time. Obviously, it's the end of the road for you. So go ahead, Aisha, you can open the envelope now. Oh my God. Yes. So congratulations, Aisha. Congratulations, you've made it to the next round of the competition. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Aisha. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, and hopefully I'll see you again. You so much. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Our 11 delegates who have made it to the next round of the competition. It's going to be fun, and the journey has just begun. Do not forget that you also play a bigger role in keeping your favorite contestant in the competition. Don't forget to follow our social media platform. Instagram, Facebook is Miss Muslima Ghana, and on YouTube, it's Cruise House Event. Comment, like, and share any of the posts of your favorite delegates. And thank you so much going in the way of our sponsors. Thank you to my stylist, Onyanseni, for putting this together and to Ismo Beauty Touch for my beautiful makeup. My name is Leila Shari and I haven't been doing this alone. My name is Fatima Musa, and a very big thank you to Ismo Beauty Touch for giving me this amazing look. And a very big thank you to Dare Diamond for putting out this amazing outfit. So this is where we draw the curtain finally. Like I promised you, it's going to be all fun on this year's Miss Muslim Ghana 2021. And make sure that you don't miss out on any of our episodes. Until then, I'll see you again hopefully in the next episode. We say goodbye.